What's up everybody, Beastly Gamer here, playing a little bit of Bayonetta 2, and let me tell you this. This is one of the best games I've played all year. If not the best, it's definitely in the top two games I've played all year. Um, I would actually put it up there, as far as fun, I would put it up there with The Last of Us. It's really, it's really good. Uh, phenomenal game, definitely worth picking up. If you guys have a Wii U and you don't have this game, kill yourself. It's insanely fun. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about Nintendo today. Nintendo's having a hell of a week. They just had the best week of all time with the Nintendo Wii U. So, bravo. Bravo for Nintendo. Nintendo's been uh, the red-headed stepchild for the last year and a half. Uh, Sony and Microsoft released their next-gen consoles and came out and completely wiped the floor with Nintendo. And Nintendo had a one-year head start with the release of the Nintendo Wii U. Nintendo just didn't have any games, and that's really what it was. There's no games for a console. You don't have any third-party support. All the, the third-party devs are pretty much turning their back on you. You don't want to, You don't work well with others. That was Nintendo's main issue, and it's still an issue. Hopefully they get it fixed, but they've been getting a lot of sales. They've had the best week of Nintendo Wii U sales of all time recently, and uh, there's a few things that come into play that made this happen. Nintendo has had a 90% sales increase uh, as per the same period of time last year. So a year ago, their sales are up now 90% higher than they were back then. And a lot of this is because of the games. Nintendo's Wii U doesn't have a lot of really good games. But they have the best first-party games. They have the best lineup of first-party titles. They just don't use them all the time. They regurgitate the same titles too much. You get a new Mario game for 3DS every four months. And I think that's overuse of Mario. That's the best brand. People love Mario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if they did the same thing with Mario that they do with Zelda, or that they do with Star Fox, or that they do with Metroid, I think that it would probably even it would move even more units. Mario's been overused, but they have released some great games. The great games that have been released are Mario Kart, which does come out once every few years. Mario Kart came out. It was the number one selling Wii U game at that time. And uh, it got phenomenal reviews. Online work. The game looked beautiful. And uh, I played it. The game looks as good as something on the PS4 or the Xbox One. It does. It's really a beautiful, beautiful game and a very fun experience. And then we get Bayonetta 2, which is nominated for Game of the Year. Which, in my book right now, I don't know if it's Game of the Year, but it's definitely Game of the Year material. It's just very fun to play and listening to this chick talk. It's just, it's a very fun game. And then you get Smash Brothers for the Wii U, which is, uh, what can I say, it's Smash Brothers, and the Smash Brothers done right. There's nothing wrong with that, it's like peanut butter and jelly. GameCube controller and Smash Brothers, PB&J, that's what it is. And it's, it's really driving the sales of the console. Now Nintendo's having a great time, they're actually moving units. And uh, I'm hoping that they continue with this trend of releasing games that are, that are relevant, that work, and that are fun, because if they can do that with their first party titles, Zelda looks phenomenal. The new Legend of Zelda game looks totally, it looks more beautiful than words can say. And it's not on a console as powerful as the PS4 or the Xbox One. But it is a beautiful and just gorgeous experience. If that game comes out and it, it plays the way that it looks, that's going to be another huge surge in Nintendo sales. What about, uh, what about... Star Fox. Star Fox. I don't think Star Fox has as big a following as games like Legend of Zelda or Mario. That's, that's just no. A lot of people don't play Star Fox. A lot of people didn't get an opportunity to play it. Back when Star Fox was big, there was a big console war, Sega versus Nintendo. When it came out on Super Nintendo, a lot of people were playing Sega. And when it came out on 64, a lot of people were playing on PlayStation. So, there's still a huge group of people who haven't played that game, but for those who do play it, the, the loyal fans, that's going to move tons of units. Metroid, Samus Aran, if they get Metroid and they actually do that game right, it could really be a good year for Nintendo. I'm hoping, I'm hoping as a fan, and I know a lot of you guys out there are fans of Nintendo, I'm hoping as a fan that they're able to turn this ship around. This Amiibo initiative has been working. I, I didn't think it would. When the Amiibos were first announced, I was like, eh, it's, a, it's a gimmick. I don't want Spyro the Dragon all over my Wii U. But it's working. They've sold 700,000 Amiibos. These things are sold out. All you can find now is Mario, Link, and Pikachu. That's it. Those things are sold out and they've been selling units because of that as well. 
It's just been a really wise tactic that, N- that Nintendo's been using to uh, get Wii U's into homes. They haven't really been fluctuating too much with their price, but they've been releasing quality content. And when you release quality content, people notice. Period. Also, Nintendo's uh, Mario Kart commercial, they leaked, or not so much leaked, but they did show someone holding a new Wii U controller. Check out the picture. It does not look like the, the original Wii U gamepad. It looks like something totally new. So if Nintendo's planning to do the same thing with the Wii U that they did with the 3DS and release new hardware uh, or a new console with slightly upgraded hardware, we could actually have Wii U games that come close to next-gen or current-gen consoles. Nintendo may be learning their lesson. I hope they are. The end of 2014 is looking really good for Nintendo. they got some really strong titles now, and, and a lot of their titles are performing better than their competition. If they're able to do the same thing in 2015, the Wii U could actually be saved. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. What is Nintendo going to do in 2015, and can they turn their ship around? If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, and you guys know I appreciate all the love and support. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.